All right, <clears throat> we're back after a little break. Um, it is currently the same day, uh, so we're doing our second video for the day. Um, and yeah, so right now the plan is is to just find Klaus. Uh, I might need to do some harvesting real quick because we're completely out of logs. Actually, you know what? No, we don't need to. <laughs> we had Berger do all that work for us to keep, you know, doing something else instead of, you know, harvesting. So, in honor of our friend, the fallen Berger, we're going to go ahead and just pick up, you know, it. it's hard work. All that's hard work. So yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> we're doing it too. We can also make sure that our beef flow is somewhat well fed since we do have a lot of these um, juicy berry bushes that were juicy berries that were starting to spoil. So I just roasted them a little bit before we started up. And I think we should be pretty okay. Um, we have to locate this whole area, by the way, because there's a chance that it might just spawn somewhere within that area. Which is kind of a pain, because you won't really know until you, you know, actually see it in the map. They don't spawn on the map while you're uh, scouring around, so you have to actually see it. So yeah, we'll just have to find it when we see it. Also, since now we also have our book, I think what I'm going to try to do is during the Krampus uh, phase, I might as well just use the book so I can actually, you know, kite the things properly. I think with all of uh, Wicker's um, updates so far, she definitely became somewhat independent, if that makes sense. She's able to do things on her own, on her own more efficiently now. I'm not saying she was before. She wasn't before, like, you know, she was pretty okay back then. Um, she was pretty okay with doing what she can. She had her... Uh, she had everything she needed uh, at her disposal to keep her alive anyway, so with the update they just made it a little bit more different, but at the same time in a good way, so I don't know. I think it's okay so far. Alright, I'm gonna feed my cat. Aww. Thanks, buddy. My cat's purring next to me, that's so cute. Alright, we'll go ahead and gather some more logs. Thank you, Berger. Your death will not be in vain. You'll be the better man for the base. <laughs> Honestly, the next Berger that spawns, I'm not going to kill it. I'm just going to let it live as long as I can. And hopefully, if it does die, it dies before autumn, so another one would spawn. <laughs> man, I am such a great friend. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, here you go, bud. Nice, you just pooped. Now let's get going. We got a long way to go. Also, see, it was almost a full day, and now our thermal zone's about to be a little bit colder. We can go ahead and head back to the Dragonfly Desert, swap out our stones, and then we'll be fine. Hopefully, it still stays to 100% because uh, we're pretty close. Grab a new one and get going. No harm, no foul. Uh, lots of ways of surviving in this game. It's very fun. <laughs> Man, am I selling it hard enough yet? Are you guys gonna play the game? <laughs> Seriously, though, if you're interested, go definitely check it out. Well, let's definitely check it out. Let's see here. So, Klaus has a couple of spawn points. It either will be in the deciduous biome, which we are right now, um, usually where the pig king is. And depending on your world, sometimes if you're lucky, you'll only have one deciduous biomes. If you're not, you'll have two. And if there's two deciduous biomes, there's even more spawn points for the Klaus to be in. So, um, judging the fact that we don't have two, it's great, we only have one. We just need to look around two different biomes. Either the mosaic biome, which is the biome that has meteors uh, dropping down, and it's usually mixed up with a lot of different turf uh, turf types. So sometimes there's like marsh turf, sometimes there's rocky turf, sometimes there's cobblestone road turf, of the such. Um, and that's how you indicate whether or not that's a mosaic biome, 
besides that, also meteors also is a very good indicator. Um, and yeah, so right now we're just gonna keep a lookout and see if there's any um, any loot stash here, because that'd be very nice if it's just here. We're pretty much ready to fight. I just gotta craft some more stuff. Yeah, there's a rook here. Hello. Oh, there's also some knights here. Hello. You know you love booting me off in the worst times possible, Beefalo. I'll remember it. <laughs> I'll remember that. Pigs are fighting with the knights. Hmm. So far, I don't see it. Nice. It threw up a flint. Lovely. There goes my uh, juicy berry bush. My juicy berries. I don't know why I say juicy berry bush. It is just the berries that came from the juicy berry bush. Jeez. Okay, I don't think it's in this deciduous biome right now. Um, so I'm just going to go back to... I'm going to go through the wormhole and see if it's going to be in the other side of it. I hope it's next to the deciduous. That'll actually be helpful. If it's that, you know, perfect wormhole. Otherwise, we'll have to <laughs> run all the way over, which will take a while. All right, how do you? I hear tree guards, I think. Oh no, it's just beefaloes. Oh, that's actually kind of perfect. We're kind of close to it, too. You know what? That's perfect. Thank you, world. It's actually a pretty good wormhole. Now let's head on over and see if it's over there. Look at all these baby beefs. Lots of baby beefaloes. Probably should pop that open too. See what's in that uh, cave area. <laughs> Would always want to uh, open all these sinkholes up just so I have options for entrances and exits. Um, besides the uh, the wormholes itself, uh, the sinkholes actually kind of act as wormholes too, because they do provide a couple of axes underground. And sometimes, um, let's say. The one, the sinkhole in base could actually lead to the sinkhole next to the portal, which means it's a very close uh, portal option. Uh, a very close wormhole option that leads to the portal, which is pretty cool. So yeah, there are options. It's pretty cool. And I believe, I'm hoping, uh, it spawns here. I'm pretty sure it should spawn here because we only have two biomes, so... Mosaic probably? Hopefully? <laughs> More like a please. <laughs> I wouldn't want to put on my uh, moggles instead. I do also, I, well, I, I do want to put on my moggles, but the main problem with putting on moggles means I'll lose my insulation. And the main thing I have right now for insulation is my beefalo hat. So I don't want to be trading off my insulation just because I want to see better. Um, since I do have a, you know, Lantern, it still works, it's fine. So long as I don't get killed by Charlie, that's perfectly fine by me. However, the mosaic is still quite big, so we have to look around. And after Klaus, I think I'm just gonna go do some uh, ice harvesting, because I didn't say I want to do that. Might as well follow through. Okay, I'm not seeing anything so far. Sometimes it also might be in the very corners of things, so we do want to get close enough where the map actually reveals that specific area and see if it's spawned there. Okay, we flow. I get it. There you go. Okay, here you go. One more. There you go. Maybe someday they'll make a uh, a uh, bar for when your beeflow is fully tamed or not. Because I technically kind of have an idea of how long it will take for a beeflow to be fully tamed. However, I don't necessarily remember all of it. So sometimes I just want to have like a meter that you know just tells me. <laughs> Obviously, there are mod there are mods for that, but you know. If we're doing a modless run, I kind of want them to just implement it in the game. 
And also, that being said, I kind of wish there was more options to be implemented in the game as well. I feel like there's a lot of things that can be just implemented instead of just having mods be the, thing, be the case for those things. So, yeah, I don't know. While you're sleeping, my Chester's getting hit, by the way. Just so you know. Almost one's getting low as well, so I might want to actually stop by and make a little fire real quick. I'm gonna do that right now. So, just a couple more places left. We'll see whether or not the loot stash is spawned, which I'm pretty sure it should have already. It's already been over three days um, since winter started. Usually that's how long it takes for a loot stash to spawn in the world. So, yeah. We're gonna wait for a bit. We're not in a rush to go uh, get going because we do want to wait for our thermal stone to get at least a little bit more warm. I'm also gonna get some food so I can eat. By the way, beef love, don't you dare drop your thingy. I know what you're planning on doing. <laughs> you did it before. Good enough for food. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap those back up. Let's keep going. Thermal stone is pretty much efficiently warmed up. I'm pretty sure that should be enough for now. I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can find the loot stash. You have the tears here, that's a good sign. Um, I'm gonna go scare them so we can have them drop their horns. Back to locating the loot stash. Oof. It does take quite a bit, huh? To make sure also with the corners because there's always a chance that it spawns in the corners. So we'll have to check for sure. And if it's not here we have to head back to the deciduous because there's always a chance for that to happen. We have to backtrack and locate a different area just to make sure it's actually not there. Boot stats just are actually kind of annoying, um, especially if your world's kind of big. <laughs> Ours, in, ours are in default, I'm pretty sure, just the normal size. However, it still gets pretty annoying when you have to waste a couple of days just to find the loot stash. Not even to fight it just yet, too. We'll probably do one more final sweep and then we'll get back out of here. Jump through the wormhole and see if there's any other spawn points that we haven't checked. So it has to be here somewhere, right?
Plus, the main reason why I want to kill the Klaus first is because I want the, I want the uh, bundle wraps. <laughs> One of the most best items in the game, so... Definitely want to uh, have those and don't miss out on that every winter. Let's go. Pretty good, actually. That actually leads me somewhat close to the uh, pig village, or the pig area. Oh, shoot. Come on. Again, I don't want to be uh, in the swamp while I'm on a beefalo. The beefalo actually kind of makes it even harder to make sure that you're alive. So I'm just going to try and walk along the road, because the road usually doesn't have tentacles on there. Because my beefalo just bucks me off in the wrong time, it is game over. <laughs> there's an animation for you to actually start getting yourself back up, and there's also an animation for you to like, you know, brush yourself off. And that is more or less the amount of time that takes for me to die, so definitely got to be careful. Plus, since it is cold, we're going to head back to the Dragonfly real quick. Drop off our Thermal Stone in exchange for a new one. Maybe second setting up uh, Aki Vigils would be a good idea for the uh, the spawn points. Besides that, too, probably even setting up like you know blockage for certain spawn points so it doesn't you know take us years to find it. We'll just have it spawn in the same spot over and over again, which would be nice. Okay, well let's look around again in the uh, deciduous. That's what we have to do in order to find the loot stash. Sometimes it just eludes us. It leaves us alone. Okay, so I'm gonna try and go through the middle part first, just to see if we missed anything. Because again, it has lots of spawn areas. Even if it's in a certain um, biome itself, you still have to look around just so you know where it is. Um, so we're gonna try and go to the middle here and see if we actually discover it on our way up. There's always a chance for that. hearing cat coons in the background. Just puking. Hmm. look around. If we don't find it, I'm just going to wait a little bit longer and then do this again afterwards because I definitely want to find something to do besides just running around fruitless. <laughs> I just want to kill Klaus, man. Come on. There's only so many things I would like to do during winter. Also, that being said, I probably should also see if there is any other potential spawn points for... Oh, we found it. Okay, finally. Ah, oh, jeez. It's in the middle of this area. Of course. Of course it has to be. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and make some armor. I think three sets of armor should be enough. One of them being a little bit just less amount of durability shouldn't be too much trouble. Um, make a couple more dark swords. I think three dark swords should be enough. Gonna leave Chester next to my beefalo as well. Mm. 
Yeah, I think that should be fine. Okay. That is so early in the day, we should definitely do it now. Definitely want to go back to this real quick. We're gonna make some more dark swords just in case. Food out too. We need hunger. Just ran in front of the cheater. <laughs> So far, so good. Don't want to jinx 
hit, but I think we're doing okay. Hey, stop cheating. Clops is down. Um, we still have plenty of. Uh, I'm pretty sure we still have plenty of. Uh, what's it called? Uh, living logs? Excuse me, back in base? So I feel like we should be okay in terms of, like, you know, making weapons for Dragonfly and then potentially fighting Deer Clops after that. We'll have to see what goes first because I feel like right now based on what we can do. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be uh, Deer Clops first, maybe? We're pretty much closing into the end of winter already, so it makes sense it'll be Deer Clops first. Put all these in the bundle. Okay. So now that's over with, let's go ahead and open this baby up. See what we get. Hopefully we're lucky. That, that. Um, do you have any space on you, bud? Let's see the case. Um, I dropped that for now. And the gold I can just hold on to my inventory, I guess. Alright, let's go back. Alright, we know one of the other spawn points now. It's also within the... Uh, deciduous biome, so both times that we fought Klaus was also in deciduous, so that's good. Alright, so that's done. Let's try and plan for Dragonfly, hopefully. I do want to do that soon. Um, the only main issue right now is that I want to make sure I have enough healing food, because Dragonfly is probably one of the harder ones to really sustain. I have to really kite properly in order to do it well, otherwise I will definitely die. <laughs> And it definitely takes a couple of days too to kill uh, Dragonfly. So we'll probably won't be able to do that right now. I need to spend a little bit more time uh, gathering some more stuff. Wait until Dog spawn, wait until Deerclop spawn, and then we can do that. So that's our plan. That's what we have to do for now. Also, I'm putting my Tam now too. That took quite a beating to my sanity. Drop off some stuff. I don't need to have all these with me. I'll just hold on to one more dark sword and an extra. Let's go and see uh, if we get a loot stash or a Krampus sack. Um, let's see. Where's my. Uh... I'm looking for something. I don't remember what I was trying to look for. Jeez. these before they start to crack and we won't be able to gather them after that. Alright. What do we get? 
Ooh, a deer clap's eyeball. That's good. We make another. We make another uh, umbrella. Oh, <gasps> look what we got! Hey, we got the loot stash or the Krampus sack. Wow, that's only the second year too. Yay! I'm actually pretty happy about that. <laughs> Honestly, I wasn't expecting it, but I am pretty surprised. <laughs> that's actually wonderful. That's great. All right, let's see what else. That's such a good drop. Very early on too. All right, and then a couple more other things, so pretty good. You know what? Getting the Krampus sack ready is actually a very good, a very good call. It's great. <laughs> go ahead and drop these. Put these all in my inventory now. Lovely. So now, this is the funny thing. Oh, okay. I remember what I need. Also, I need my um. I need to make a sewing kit because some of my uh, clothings are about to break. So I'll definitely do that. I know I have some teeth nearby too, right? Dog teeth? I'm pretty sure I have some. If not, I can go to the dragonfly real quick and grab some. Oh, I gotta clean up this area too. Oh, there you go. I found it. Dog teeth. I'm gonna go ahead and make a sewing kit. Which I need logs, and I know I have logs in Chester. Chester, where you at? Oh, are you hiding behind? Oh, there you are. I see you. Okay, go ahead and make that. Sadly, we can't make another one because we're just out. But that's fine. All right, that's great. Um, drop that. I can get my Tam also from Chester. Uh, I'll walk a little bit further, see if he starts walking over. I think he's outside where I was just walking earlier. There you are. Hey, pal. Go ahead and grab this. Okay, it's back to snowing again. <clears throat> Lovely. Alright, since I am here right now, I'm going to go ahead and clean a little bit of my base. Because I do want to have a little bit, like, semblance of cleanliness. I think you said it might be very hard due to, uh, my bad habits, but we'll try. Um, in terms of tools, I'm just going to leave everything out here, tool-wise, so I don't need to, like, you know, look around just to see if there's tools on the floor. I'll just know that it's always going to be there. That's... That our tools. Man, I'm fully out on lighting gear too, so I definitely gotta make myself some uh get myself some more light bulbs. Jeez. <clears throat> Here. Hammer. And I think that's good. I'm gonna grab the charcoal too. And the gold. Alright. 
There's something invisible here. Oh, jeez. That was so hard to see. That's why I don't like this skin. You know what? I gotta, I gotta change it back. Because it makes it hard for me to see it. Especially with a snowy background. Jeez, I can't see anything on the floor. <laughs> okay. Got some more tools here. Help are very good for sanity, so definitely want to use those as well. Cool. <clears throat> Alright. So, in terms of magical things, I'm just going to leave all the gem stuff over here. Um, nightmare fuel, living logs, all that type of stuff. Boss suits, I'll probably just leave it above here, just so it's, you know, somewhat easy to see. I am worried a bit, because, you know, we do have, uh, enemies that eat meat on the floor. And eyeball being a meat as well, it actually kind of is a little bit sketchy, just placing it on the floor there. <laughs> do I want to just move it somewhere else? I think that's probably a better idea. There you go. I guess it's kind of... <laughs> you can kind of figure out, you know, what belongs where, I guess, right? Kind of? Maybe, I don't know. It still seems kind of messy to me, but you know what? I don't really have the expertise right now to do so. To fix it better, but... Uh, we'll just have to make do, I guess. Okay. So now that I'm mostly... Uh, gotten things so somewhat sorted out. I can actually just focus on something else now. Um, also, I want to see what are in these bundle wraps. I'm pretty sure that one's all the juicy berry bush. Uh, juicy, jeez, all the juicy berries. Um, what's in this one? Okay, I'm very confused. I don't really know which one's which. Oh, these are the blue kelp. Okay. Um.
I think for food stuff, I'm just gonna change the skin of their uh, of their bundle wrap just so I can like you know have an idea of what they are without needing to open them all the time. I think that's probably a better idea. So we'll do that instead. We'll use that one, sure. So this is definitely still the juicy berries, I'm pretty sure. Right? No. Which one's which? Ah, oh, jeez. That's a problem. Alright, well I gotta open them up. <laughs> is this juicy berry bush? It's not. Oh, these are my stuff. Okay. So this has to be the Juicy Berries then. I'm pretty confident. Oops. This Jeez. Food bundles are in this one, the Carnival event uh, skin. Man, this is this is gonna be the hard part about like organizing things inside the bundle wraps because I don't know what's in there. Um, so what's in this one then? These are my light bulbs. Cool. Okay, perfect. Exactly what I needed. Right. Okay, good. So, inedibles will be in a different bundle wrap. Cook food would be these. Inedibles would be the gothic one, I guess. Yeah. And so on and so forth. Let's also swap my skin for this. Okay. So I think we are ready now um, to actually do something. Because <laughs> we spent so much time just doing nothing here. Okay, uh, we're going to go ahead and head to the picking real quick. Um, right now this is on its last leg, so it is kind of annoying. Um, since our beef flow just doesn't want to uh, behave. Um, we have to do better taking care of it now. Do that. But I'm going to go ahead and head to the dragonfly real quick. Um, I'm dropping off Chester, I don't want to bring him with me. Since he has the eyeball now, I, do wanna have, I don't want that to be eaten. I'm going to go ahead to the dragonfly, drop off my uh, thermal stone, swap that out with something else, and then I'm going to have to go back to the uh, picking. Oh, what the heck? That's not good. Something's glitching in my game. Uh, I'm going to go to Peking, drop off all these uh, trinkets that I got, and trade them off for gold. And then, eventually, we can work towards making some other things afterwards. Maybe making the pig uh, village a little bit more refined, probably. Because I definitely want to have a little bit more pigs. Not just for the meat, but pig skins mainly. Because we definitely need helmets. Football helmets. All right, let's go deposit our thing real quick. Plus we can also get some more cactus, so we should definitely do that. I'm just gonna wrap these up. Don't need those to be outside. Let's go, pal. I 
think we might be getting a deer clops near the end of winter. So we're pretty close to that right now. So just any, honestly, any any day now, it's gonna spawn. So I don't think we can actually do a D fly right now. But after deer clops is dead, probably we're around spring. We can probably think about doing D fly. We do have a pan flute too, so it should be okay. And if ever we can also we can also bring our uh, sleepy story time book, just in case. We'll have to see with that. Um, I think that's all the trinkets. Yeah. got our gold. I think we also have to do some hunting soon because I do want to make myself a beeflow brush just so I don't need to take care of my beeflow that intensively because it does take like honestly 20 above days, in-game days. Um, and every day is like, you know, eight minutes. So more or less just 25, eight times 25, which would be around like 200 minutes, I believe. Is my calculation correct? I think it's around 200 minutes. So more or less 3 hours and a little bit extra. <laughs> oh jeez. 3 hours and 40 minutes. <clears throat> right? No. I don't think that's correct. Oh yeah, no, no, that's right. 3 hours and 20 minutes actually. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and drop some stuff. And drop um beeflo poop. I'm also gonna leave him here for now because I wanna do some uh beeflo shaving while I have time. Especially due to our beefalo being very, uh, <laughs> being very rude, uh, constantly bucking off its uh, saddle since we're not taking care of it properly. Um, I am definitely have to make a new beefalo saddle soon, so prep myself and get some more uh, beefalo wool just in case because it's going to break anytime soon now. <laughs> Okay, that's one of the herds. There should be a second herd above. Here somewhere? Just around the entrance, I think. Uh, no? Where are they? I know I have two herds here. Also, I'll grab that. Wait, are you cereal? Do we only have one? I don't think it's only one herd. There should be two. Strange. Oh, I think it's above here actually, near the entrance of the sinkhole. I think that's where it is. Maybe. Right? Really? It's only one herd? That's all I have? Really? Huh. I didn't know that. Okay, well, I guess we're not getting any more. Uh, we're just gonna head back then. We're gonna go gather the... the flow wool. That's upsetting. I could've sworn we had two beeflow herds. I know there's another one in the other side, like, far up. Um, near the, uh, the dark forest area. 
but that's still a little too far away. I can't believe we only have one beef lord. Let's head back and grab our beef flow. We're gonna go gather some more cactus. During these uh, seasons, I usually just do a lot of gathering, mainly because there's not much else to do. Um, until I know that, uh, you know, D fly, or dry, sorry, deer clops have spawned or dry, dogs have been spawned already, I don't necessarily do anything major unless I know that they're done. Otherwise, I'll just get myself killed pretty easily, <laughs> just by accident. Alright, so we have more beefalo wool. Hello. Um, don't drop your thing, Ruth. Okay, never mind. You dropped it. Jeez, this is my last four skins, too. That sucks. The things I do for love. Here you go. That's not it. I don't know why I still have the uh, Glomer Goop on me, but I guess it's fine. Just like a backup healing. But I definitely want to save much more Glomer Goop. Because for the uh, Celestial Champion fight, I definitely want to use Glomer Goop for the, uh, the fight. Keep my sanity in the low uh, state, as well as being able to heal is basically a perfect combination. Um, usually playing as Wigford, I don't get that luxury of doing so. So I'll definitely benefit from all these veggie stuff that I can eat. Not saying Glomer Goop is a veggie, but you know, um, the green mushrooms are, so I can definitely use that. I was gonna get down anyway. Oh no, I left my thing there. I left my beefalo thing there, shoot. I have to chase my beefalo, gosh darn it. That was my bad. <laughs> Also, since we are in need to get some uh, hunger, I'm gonna have to kill some uh, cat kills too. Oh, you're gonna have those tiny meat. I think what I'm going to do too, since I do have all these logs at my disposal now, I'm going to go ahead and make a little bit of storage area, just so you know. I'll have some stuff too, to just put up in a proper area, proper spot. Because it is kind of annoying, you know, needing to, uh, need to do all that without a proper spot. Just needing to put them on the floor. It definitely sucks. <laughs> Doing a little stretch. All right. Also, before I forget to, I'm gonna walk along the side of the water because I forgot I need to harvest ice. So if we do get some penguins spawning, that'd be great. Let's hope that happens. Hmm? Okay. 
It is new moon too. I think I just need to get a good amount of ice for a backup filler, but beyond that too, I also need to make a couple more flingos. Mainly the flingos, since a lot of stuff that we have are not really protected. Uh, that being said, it is kind of hard to really keep them in check, huh? My fire. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Um, I'll grab that board. Put this here too. Go ahead and make some storage spaces, Sally. First chest we place in our area finally. Go ahead and get my food out, especially because I'm hungry. Perfect. Seems like spring will be coming up soon too, so. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna have deer claws this year, but we'll see. All right. So let's start cleaning up real quick. Our little boss chest over here, a lot of the boss loots. I'm gonna go find Chester because he has the eyeball. Hey, pal. Some non boss loots from moms. Alright, let me feed you something before you do that thing again. Okay. Alright, bud. It was cute at first, but it's getting annoying. <laughs> Please stop. Alright, that's some semblance of cleanliness now. I'm much happier with that. <laughs> we'll add some more chests later on, but so far I'm just gonna leave everything else in the chest. I'm gonna work on it later. Let's go ahead and uh, head back to the area real quick so we can get our thermal stones. Really hot it up. Hot it up? Oh jeez. Oh jeez, my English is deteriorating. Um, we're gonna have it heated up. But first let's also gather these two since we're here. Let's go. 
Oh, I just realized I also didn't drop off my, uh, my garden hoe. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I have it on me now, then. To gathering cactus, we might as we might predict that deer claws might spawn tonight, so we can get prepared for that. We do have armor and we have a good amount of uh, weapons, so it's more or less enough ready for the fight. We won't need anything else besides that. So I think we're just prepared just to wait for it to spawn. I think five more days too, and it's going to be spring already. So well, not five more days, uh, three more days, and it's going to be spring already. So we're getting close. To finishing another season. Ooh, a blue gem. Cool. I'll take it. We definitely need blue gems later on, too, especially for the uh, Crab King fight, so. We wanted those. There's a mole in there. Okay. Hmm. We got up its radius pretty quickly, so I guess it ignores us now. That's pretty good. I'll have to keep that in mind. While it's aggroing, we have a slight, slight second to get out of its sight. Small window, um, to say it better. Um, a small window to leave before it actually starts getting it. Does he spinnerbait? Cool. We'll have some fish stuff prepped. Oh, where's my there it is. lantern? Got a stinger. I also always have to gather these, especially because it's really, really important to have these mats. Jeez, it's getting more and more frequent, pal. Come on. What's wrong with you? I'd be so much more happier if I had a brush. I think I'm just gonna try them, if that's the case. We'll try and spawn a Yukus. We'll hire some pigs for us and we'll kill it. Our final linguini. We're gonna have to probably make some more food soon. We do have some monster meat back in the base. Beyond that, too, we also have a good amount of. Cactuses, so we can also survive on that, I guess. However, I do want to have a much more better options of food as well, not just that. I mean, can I survive solely on cactus? Probably. So long as the healing part doesn't really affect that much. Because I definitely, you know, can't not heal myself. <laughs>
This is like a lottery. I love getting tumbleweeds. I'm gonna have to definitely try and set up a uh, tumbleweed spawner just so it catches all the tumbleweeds in that one area, which gives me a lot of like, you know, time to just, you know, just hold spacebar. <laughs> That'd be great. Just a couple more cactus, and we'll be done with this area. <laughs> Look at all those. Give me those. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, even without making a uh, elaborate farm for grass and twigs, I'm getting a lot just by, you know, running around in the desert at least once every now and again. <laughs> Which is great. I think a lot of people really uh, misunderstand how powerful the uh, misunderstood rather how powerful the uh, tumbleweeds are. If you actually like harvest them a bunch and often, because you get so much loot from them too. Not just grass and twigs, but like sometimes you get blueprints for sanity. Sometimes you get um, specific mob drops for uh, other builds, which is actually pretty cool. Just so much you can get from them, which is great. All right, last couple of cactus, I believe, and we're pretty much clean. We're done with here. Deer cluster still hasn't spawned, so I wonder if we're even gonna have a deer cluster this year, since we did get a uh, eyeball from um, Klaus. <laughs> Another blueprint. An autopilot kit. I've actually, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the, um, the video on YouTube, uh, where they made a, okay, here do cops finally, where they made a, uh, an autopilot carousel in the ocean, and it's actually really fun, like, really, really fun. I made it, uh, in my, my brother's world. I might find a footage for it pretty soon. But I made a uh, not a pilot area for my brother for my brother's world. Um, it's really hard to make, but once you make it, it's actually really fun, like insanely fun. I really enjoyed playing uh, around in that carousel. But the only thing I didn't uh, do properly is it leads to both areas. So it leads from um, from where it leads from the uh, normal island, so our main island, to the moon island. So it's basically a little uh, carousel. Uh, that leads to both areas, which is pretty cool. And beyond that, um, another cool part about that is it's fully functional. It is hard to make, but once you make it, it's pretty cool. Put that on, put that on. Okay, I think we should be able to find it now. Let's see where it is. It's definitely spawned. But yeah, the only thing I didn't do properly is because I made the um it only leads to the uh what is it called the fragment island and i haven't really connected to fragment islands yet so it's still kind of in a bad spot and i need to manage it properly and put them in a better i just saw that jeez before come on Okay, I'm playing poorly. Too greedy. <laughs> I 
I'm not fast enough to. If I have a little bit more move speed, I probably can do that. Actually, I probably can too. Okay, I'm getting ready. Let's just play safe. I don't have another weapon. Or armor, I mean. Alright, oh, it's done. <laughs> cool, we got meat. Great. And another eyeball. Okay, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna leave you here, here, pal, since I don't really need to bring you around with me. You, however, oh, you're just being so naughty. Alright, it's already down to 40%, and I don't think you're even close to being fully tamed yet. Jeez, come on. Come on, Beefalo, work with me here. <laughs> I'm trying to be your friend. Like, actually trying to be your friend. Alright, we can head back now. We got another eyeball in our hands, that's great. that's it for today. Ah, good session.